This is me. Hey guys. It's your girl Carla Lucy in the baby. What's good? Uh, Alright, so. Thanks to you guys. My channel has been growing like immensely. And I want to start off by saying that I'm really grateful for that. And so. A lot of people like. They've been asking me questions about myself, and at one point, I was asking like four questions because it's like, all right, I'm really growing right now. Like, I want you guys to, you know, get a get a, a tea glimpse of who I am. Like, who's calling Lucy? Because you guys thoroughly know much aside from YouTube and maybe social media. If you follow me on social media, but. As far as like who I really am, you guys don't really know. So we're gonna find out today. Really? <laughs> um. Alright. So I wrote down twenty questions. Some of the some of these questions were given to me, and like some of these questions were like basic questions that I think I should answer. So <clears throat> we're gonna start off with like you know, like. The basic stuff, and then we'll get into like some more stuff. I guess. Anyway, I really hope you guys hear me. I'm not a loud person, but I hope you guys hear me. I mean, shit, sure, y'all should be able to hear me because when I be recording with this camera, I hear shit all the way in the background, and I'm in my room right now, so you guys should be able to hear me, right? You're right? Okay. Anyway, um, alright. So, question number one: name. <gasps> My name is too long and I don't, I don't feel like my first name is important. Fun fact, Lucy is my middle name and yeah, Lucy, call them Lucy. Anywho, age, I am legal, I'm 18, turn 18. Last year, 2017. Uh, birthday. My birthday is September third. Virgo gang, 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 gang. Hey, shout out to all my Virgos watching this video. Gang, gang, gang. All my September babies was good. Um, where are you from? I am from Miami, Florida. What inspired you to create a gamer channel? Um, that's a good question. Basically, it's not really what inspired me. What well, it is what, but it's like ma it's mainly like who. And that would be my brother Blum. <sighs> Anywho. And like I'm really happy and I'm really grateful for where I'm at now but anywho yeah so I still remember this day it was the day that he was here and then I was like you know what F it like let's go we finna stream today we finna stream zombies we finna stream zombies and that's crazy cause originally that's all I wanted to do like cause I know a couple of YouTubers like gamers they they stream Black Ops zombies or any like Call of Duty zombie games, and then that's I love I love 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 zombies doing Easter eggs and all that other good great wonderful stuff, and I thought that's basically what my channel was gonna be about, but clearly not. Like I, I expanded playing more games, I guess you can say, but once again I'm really happy I'm really grateful for my brother. Uh, what's the story behind your gamer tag? Uh, my gamer tag is sneaker underscore head 1989. That's on PlayStation. And what inspired me because, like I said, like on social media, like when I was like in middle school, like maybe like the beginning of high school, I had like a, I had a little, like a to like popularity basically. I had that. And I used to literally always get the new shoes, the new Jordans that would come out and stuff. So that's where Sneakerhead comes from. And in 1989, it's my brother. That's the year he was born. And I use that number for everything, but it represents my brother. I love my brother. <laughs> One of my biggest supporters. Um, oh, 
and my YouTube name, Call of Lucy. It's so crazy because, like, I don't know. I don't think I have it anymore, but, like, it was somewhere in my nose where I was just, like, basically, like, brainstorming different names for my channel. Like, I didn't know what I wanted to be called, and then... I was like, you know what? I don't know what. I don't know how I came up with Call of I'm um, Lucy. Like, I don't. I mean, yeah, I play Call of Duty a lot, but like, what? What? What was the moment that I was like, you know what? Boom, Call of Lucy. I don't re really remember, but that's where I get it from. Call of Duty. Like, I love Call of Duty. Black Ops Three is one of my favorite um, franchises of their of them, whatever. And I just love. Call of Duty. I like shooting people. I like shooting shit up. <laughs> but boom, Call of Duty, Call of Lucy. Um, how long have you been playing video games? I've been playing video games. Like, I honestly, I feel like, hmm. Okay. Basically, like, it started off me just watching like my brother play video games with his friends and stuff, and then like, boom, like. Call of Duty was one of the games that I like. I clearly remember. He used to always play Black Ops One Zombies, and I used to always watch this kid. Sometimes he wouldn't let me watch. He'll kick me out the room or something. But I mean, I was young. I was annoying, I guess. But <laughs> I used to always beg him to watch and stuff. And then like sometimes he'll let me play or whatever. And I was young as hell. Like I was in elementary school, probably before I. Probably when I was in like daycare, I started playing games. Cause we, yo, I promise you, I grew up, I grew up surrounded by video games. I kid you not. Growing up on the PC days, I don't know if you guys remember LimeWire. It's a type of like torrent, a torrent basically the shit to so you could download like a whole bunch of like shit that you didn't want to pay for basically. <laughs> then we had a computer, and um, LimeWire we had um, this Nintendo 64. It was like a whole, it was like a, it was a file full of a whole bunch of zip files of different Nintendo 64 games, Mario, Mario Bros 64, um, some Super Smash Bros, Kirby, any Nintendo 64 game you can imagine, um, oh my gosh, what was their name, it was, a, um, Banjo and Kazooie, oh my gosh, I love that game, but it was a whole bunch of games on that computer, I was young, and then, like, I figured out how to, um, install those games from the zip file any game that i wanted to play i had it all i had to do was install it install the zip file and then boom like we lit and i was young as hell like i promise you i was young as hell. um the sims that's another game i started playing really young probably like yeah like i said like daycare first grade kindergarten those type that's when i really started playing like games and stuff my brother put me on a lot of stuff gta san andreas we had a Xbox, the Xbox, it was the same way. I don't know. I don't know if that's how Xbox was back then, but like it was just like we didn't, it wasn't no disc or nothing that we had. It was just a whole bunch of games on there. I don't know how it worked. My brother and his homeboys, they did all this stuff. I was just there playing when they let me play. Um, I started, I've been, listen, I'm telling you, I literally, I grew up on games. I, Kids, you know, I grew up on games. I could probably name every system that we encountered. Oh my, one of my favorite systems was the GameCube. I played Luigi's Mansion. I, I think I had fucked that game up for my brother. I think, I think, I don't know. But it's just, I grew up on games. Like, it was, like, this was, Call of Lucy was bound to happen, to be honest. Um... What do who do you hope to inspire with this channel? I love that question because like I've been talking to certain people about that like recently. Um, first of all, I hope to inspire females as a whole, females because to be honest, the gaming, the whole this whole gaming industry is what is dominated by by niggas, by males, or whatever. And I want to show females like, yo, who who the f are they to tell you that you you can't play video games and be good at it? Like, yo, to be honest, I'm a I'm a beast in this Bo3 Call of Duty stuff, and 
I have niggas that'll, well, they probably won't because I'm a female. Like I said, they won't admit to me being them. But, like, yo, I'm telling you, anything that these males dominate, that 2K stuff, females, yo, you could do that shit too and you could be better at it than they are. And they, like, in anything, like, in anything that's male dominated, like, I'm telling you, as a female, bro, you could dominate that shit too. Like, so them niggas was good. The car industry, what this, um, anything, sports, anything, like, yo, as a female, you could dominate that shit, too, like, show them niggas, like, yo, anything you could do, I could do better, play blank period, and another thing, I hope to inspire specifically, um, black females, and yes, I want to inspire females as a whole, but black females, specifically, because, yo, like, Black females, they they tie us down to like one, like a, to like a specific career or whatever. And I'm basically showing like, yo, you don't have to be a freaking nurse. Black most black females, they what if they if they have their own business, they probably selling hair, um, clothes, whatever. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm showing you like, yo, yeah, the gaming industry is mainly for white males, to be really honest with you. That's like, that's a, it's a white man's industry. And I'm showing you like, yo, you, like I said, a couple seconds ago, you could dominate that shit too. Like, it's nothing like, do whatever your heart want. If, if it's computers, another thing dominated by white males. If you wanna work with computers, you wanna work with cars, engineering, anything, all that other stuff, you could do it, bruh. That's, that's who I'm trying to inspire. I'm trying to show like, yo, like, you lit. Like, you can do whatever you want, to be honest. But, all right, um, will you be doing any pranks on your channel? Um, I think a prank with Billy on Beam so I don't know if you guys checked it out. But I don't want to be that YouTuber, to be honest. Like, I, I mainly want to be like, you know, I want I want my channel to be based on strictly gaming. That's what I want to do. So strictly gaming. And maybe a couple of Q&As. Maybe a couple of challenges. I don't know about pranks though. But yeah, I don't... Uh, I like to watch those type of channels, but I don't want to be that type of channel. It's been, and another reason why is because when I tell people I'm a YouTuber, they be like, oh, what you do? You pull pranks? You do makeup? You do hair? Like, no. I'm a fucking gamer, and I'll probably kick your ass at any game that you throw my way. Anywho. Um, <laughs> uh, what's the next question? Will you incorporate guest gamers on some of your videos? I hope to do so. Like, Adrienne, I got raided by her a couple of days ago. I, I, if you guys know, if you guys don't know what that means, basically, at the end of um, a stream, some gamers, they, like, if they're, like, up there, like, they have that fan base that's up there, she does, and, like, they'll, like, say, hey, let's, we're, we're raiding so-and-so tonight. They look for, like, a channel streaming a certain type of game live, and then they say, and then, like, Everybody from that channel just hops on your channel and your comments is blowing up. Uh, it's just crazy. It's a wonderful experience. Um, I I would work. I would love to um work with her, make a video with her. I hope to do so. But I mean, if it don't happen, it don't happen. If it do, it do. Like I'm down for whatever. <sighs> now we're getting into the crazy, the the more personal question. Oh my gosh. But. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I do not have a boyfriend. Um, in the past, yeah, I guess, but no, I don't have a boyfriend. Do you want to get married? Yes, definitely. Definitely want to get married. <laughs> Yo, me and my husband are going to be lit. I promise you, like, if he's a gamer, yo. I'm kicking his ass in any and everything. And we're, we're just going to be a lit-ass couple. But he probably don't like me sometimes because I probably kick his ass too much. But at the end of the day, it's going to be lit. It's going to be a lit marriage. Like, yo, a gamer as a wife?
That's lit. <laughs> um, do you want kids? Yes, I want a lot. Like four, four or five, maybe. People look at me crazy when I tell them that. Oh well. Um, if you don't have a boyfriend, are you currently speaking to anyone? Like dating? Oh my gosh, why am I? Why did I repeat this question? <laughs> Currently speaking to anyone, uh, I might be, I might be, but I might be. Next question: What's your most embarrassing memory? Yeah, I can't. You know what? Like every time somebody asks me that, I feel like I've been through more embarrassing stuff. But like the one situation that I think of is it was an elementary school, and like my coach. He, that we had a, we had RPE coach, he, I don't know what I did that morning. It was early in the morning. Early in the morning, we get to school, and then we, like, go to the court, and then we sit in rows for different, like, classes, and then our teachers come get us before, like, the bell or whatever. And one morning, I'm, like, he just, I forgot what I did. I don't know. I don't think I, I did nothing serious, but... He he just started snapping on snapping at me. He was yelling. He was screaming in my face and shit. And I was so embarrassed because he did it in front of everybody, man. All the kids. And then like one of my closest friends at that time, he he was just he looked at me. And then like, I just wanted to cry because I think cause I I think I had like him at that time or something. But I wanted to cry because like damn. In front of him, bro. Like you didn't have to do me like that. But he had apologized later that day to me. So clearly, I wasn't the problem. He knew his ass was wrong. <laughs> um, are you the type of friend that you would want that you would like to have as a friend? That's a good question. I mean, yeah, I think so. To be honest, because I don't really have that many friends. Like. In high school, like, it's not really people there that can relate to me, but me, really, like, I have times where, like, I would feel, like, really alone or something, and, like, I'm the only person that understands myself, and in my school, it's like, I'm a gamer, bro, like, I, like, to do gamer shit <laughs> like I don't like females I don't there's no females out there that really I could really relate to us I mean it's like a couple but like yeah I would love to have me as a friend because I'd be like yo I just I just be thinking to myself sometimes like what if I had a friend like some females that game you know we could talk about video games and shit that's why I'm, I mainly get along with like guys and stuff. That's not so cliche, but like I really do. Like I mean, clearly I'm a gamer. It's mainly niggas that enjoy playing games or whatever. Sorry to anybody I like. I don't know. Um, offend using the N word, but hey, that's me. <laughs> um, yeah. Like I would love to have me as a friend. I would. Mm. If there is one time or one moment in the last year or month that you would change, what moment would it be and why? Hmm. I... That's a good question. But, like, you know how they say everything happens for a reason? Yeah, there's some stuff that I wish didn't happen, like, or, like, I wish happened a different way. But... It already happened. It's like I can't change it. So hey, it is what it is. Like everything happens for a reason, so it's really nothing, I guess. <clears throat> favorite game. My favorite game. That's so like difficult. A lot of you probably think my favorite game is Friday the 13th because that's all I stream. But, like, that's the only game that, like, I could be, I feel like I could be interactive with you guys with. And, like, it's 
Like, it just never gets boring for me. Not saying other games get boring to me, but yeah, I mean, it's it, there's no story to it or nothing like that. So it's like I can just play it over and over, whatever, and meet different people. And I love meeting people on Friday the Thirteenth. I mean, the cool people because there's, there's a lot of assholes on there. But um, favorite game? Can I give y'all like three favorite games? Alright. Dang. I don't know, that's hard. I have a couple of favorite games, but like off the dome, I would say The Last of Us. Like that that's probably number one right there. Like The Last of Us, bro. Bro. Part two about to come out. Bro, we about to be lit. Like not going to sleep till I beat that game. That promise. <laughs> Yo, that game, the storyline, the characters, Ellie, Joe, bro, like, Naughty Dog, y'all did y'all damn thing with that game. Please don't disappoint. It don't look like y'all finna disappoint, but please, man, don't disappoint. Don't disappoint. But, yeah, um, The Last of Us, uh, Heavy Rain is another one of my favorites. I could really name, like... Mainly, I'm naming many like games with like storylines, really. Um, so it'll be The Last of Us. Heavy Rain is a good, great game. Um, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider. Um, I think it was the 25th anniversary celebration or something like that. I have the case. I'm looking at it right now. I would grab it. Not really sure what it's called, but. I think it's the latest one that came out too, but that game, yo, that game, I was so like shook with that game because it is like the different qualities of that game was like, it was so, it was different. Like the fact that you could go back throughout the maps and like new storylines would pop up and it's like, it's almost, I I don't. I beat the main storyline, but like I don't feel like I wouldn't say I beat like the game completely because there was a lot of like relics and documents that I didn't find, a lot of tombs that I didn't discover, and a whole bunch of stuff. And I love that about that game that it was like that because it was like it, it just never ends, and it's you never get tired of it. And I think the reason I stopped playing because I had let somebody borrow it, and it's like. I wasn't willing to go back to it or whatever. But that's another one of my favorite, Laura Croft. Amazing. Like she's she's a fucking savage, bro. But um and as far as like games with like multiplayer and stuff, Black Ops 3 of course. Zombies. I love zombies so much. Yo! I'm not even gonna get to how freaking Infinite Warfare Zombies disappointed me. That game right there, bruh, like, <laughs> a waste, a waste of bread, a waste of $60, if it wasn't more or whatever. But, yeah, that's what, that was one of my favorites, so, on Black Ops 3, of course. Mm, Red Dead Redemption, another, another game. I mean, it's a couple of games, like, but as far as, like, PlayStation games, those are the games. Um, <clears throat> alright, let me stop. <laughs> Favorite gaming platform? Naughty Dog, without a dog. Um, do you see yourself doing this years from now? This is number 20, guys. Maybe I should have been numbering them as I was talking. Oh, well, it's too late. But, um, <laughs> do you see yourself doing this? years from now definitely without a doubt of course like this is something that i want to be a part of me like i want people to when they hear call of lucy i want it to be like when they hear pewdiepie when you hear pewdiepie who's pewdiepie he's a freaking famous youtuber probably the most famous youtuber out there pewdiepie um yeah I'm, like, I want this a part of my identity. I really want this, like, to be a part of me. Shit, it's already a part of me, and I don't plan on quitting ever. Like, like this is something that I want a part of my life. I want to make this, like, a career. Yes, I want to um, progress financially, 
with this YouTube thing. Um, and not only that, like, I love gaming. Like, <laughs> don't get me wrong, to be honest. If I if I had to like choose another career like becoming a doctor or something I could definitely pull that off without a doubt not trying to be cocky or anything but my grades my grades are there my learning capabilities they're there all of that is there like I'm I could learn I could learn how to be a doctor but see that's the difference it's like yeah I could learn how to be a doctor but would it would that would a career choice like that make me happy I, no it wouldn't and I want to be happy at the end of the day so like I plan on really making this a part of me I plan on figuring out like how am I going to do that exactly